Watching the Valley's News Leader with Brian Loftus, Denise Valdez, Ted Florendo, and Chris Matthews. This is 8 News Now at 11. 20 years ago today, gaming executive Ted Binion died of an apparent drug overdose, but his death was prosecuted as a homicide, and the trial became a media sensation that was followed all over the country. It led to a second trial, which ended in acquittals. Former DA David Rogers spoke to George Knapp about why the second trial went awry for prosecutors. So you convict them, um, they appeal, there's a second trial. Did, were you, did you consider taking it on yourself? No, uh, you know, th this, I was just elected district attorney. I was in a job and I was thinking, what did I get myself into? And this type of case, I mean, it, it, you can't just walk in with a file and try it. This was a six week long trial. There's no way that I could take, take that time away from my responsibilities as the district attorney. Part of you wanted to be there though, to get the job done, right? I, I love trials. Uh, there's just an adrenaline rush. It, it's almost like being a junkie. You know, it's a, it's a high that you get as you're trying the case and you're building it and you're watching the jury and, uh, you know, there's some suspense and then, of course, the thrill of victory. What was the uh, difference in the second trial? I, I mean, there's obvious difference in the attorneys who were involved on both sides, but what, what do you think is a big difference? Uh, they had a road map. They, they could patch up uh, the, the, the areas of their case that didn't go very well for them the first time. They got a lot of medical experts to come in to contradict a Dr. Bodden, um, and uh, they created doubt in, in the jurors' minds. And uh, you know, I think that the jury uh, probably felt that Rick Tavish and Sandra Murphy were opportunists uh, because they convicted him of, of the grand larceny. Uh, they probably thought that Ted died of an overdose, and. They went out to, the, to get all the silver out of the desert. But they basically got away with murder, you think? Absolutely. They, they killed Ted Binion. Uh, they killed him for, for his money. Uh, they killed him uh, because they had a relationship. Love and money, though, and silver. That was George Knapp reporting. Now, Sandy Murphy is married, living in Southern California. Rick Tabish served a prison term for the theft of Ted Binion's silver, but he now lives in Montana, where his family lives. Both were acquitted of murder charges, and both have been denied having anything to do with Ted Binion's death. We're going to be posting the full interview with David Roger on our website at lasvegasnow.com. 